Hello. Is the media in Britain and America and Russia as well fair and, and unbiased? I mean, it might seem a silly question after the News of World scandal um, where p murder teenager Millie Dowler's phone was hacked, uh, people's private lives, even if we do find them quite despicable in the case of Max Mosley, are... Um, are exposed, um, you know, the the, uh, the the disappearance of uh, of a child in in Spain as uh, and it had, and the parents of that child had their um, diary read, you know, their diary stolen and read. That was the case of the McCanns, and recently. Um, I did three videos on uh, Emma West. Who is Emma West, you may say? She is the woman in um, Croydon, in an English woman in Croydon, who, who noted that she was the... she Apart from one woman who told her to stop uh, shouting at the other people, that she was the only English pe woman on the uh, tram and that she would not be um, able to raise her son... Or that he would not be given the all the the ability to have a good life in Britain because he would be competing with against um, immigrants, whether Africans or Polish people in that in that circumstance. Uh, for me, I have no problem with people who are Polish coming to this country. They have um, very good skills and they're very polite, in my experience. But the fact is that she was. As much as she was having a go at the people on the tram, she was criticising government policy. Okay, and so the um, various commentators on the other videos have said uh, it's because the government is cultural Marxism or anything else. So it's it's um, more to do with the uh, sixty eight movement, I would say, um, political correctness. Uh, multiculturalists uh, who are not social democrats they've infiltrated the social democratic movement unfortunately uh, extreme feminists who for instance in Germany the, a woman newsreader had a child who she'd been a strong feminist herself and she said note, noted that um, you know more German, German women should have children uh, to keep the nation going as well and she was called a Nazi for that and uh, feminist groups there told her that she was continuing patriarchy because the child in question when she gave birth was male I mean these are crazy ideas but they've become government policy in some cases uh, you can say that that's not true but just look what's happened to Emma West because she spoke up about something that she thought she was just giving an opinion on, everybody apparently has a, has a right to say, have an opinion, except if it's on race or religion, you know? Unless you're, uh, let's clarify that even more, if you're a Nordic Celtic woman on a bus with a, with a baby, and you're about to be hit by the person behind you who's an uh, immigrant, and... The, even the even the other immigrant uh, people said no don't hit her and yet he's being commended for that on YouTube by various different people you know I mean what a man what a manly thing to do is to hit a woman with a child if you don't agree with what she's saying you know or attempt to and because Emma West is saying that she doesn't agree with what's going on and that her son is being disenfranchised from his birthright you know, uh, to be in, to, to grow up in a majority English country. And in some parts of the country, it doesn't feel like that. 85% of people in some areas are not English. Some people have never even seen an English person with, because they stay within their own communities and English is a second language. You know? What has happened to her is that she has been kept in police custody because people have threatened her to kill her family. People at the start of the comments in the, in the 
in the, the pages in YouTube were saying, oh, she should have a child taken off of her. And I, I don't want to cover the, the grounds of the other vids, but videos, but do you, do you know how heavily infiltrated the care system is with child abusers? So are they asking for that child to be abused? You know, you've got to look at the mor not only the logic of it, but the morality of it, as well as the politics. And it, it's just not right. And then, just a few days after that, you had um, people uh, on the BBC, they were in the dark room with their faces and voices um, disguised, you know? Was this Emma West family? No, it wasn't. It was rioters. People who the police, either for their own physical safety or their legal safety, because they perhaps didn't want to be accused of racism or uh, sexism, because there were plenty of women rioting on the streets as well. And the rioter was saying, oh, we wanted to kill the police. We wanted to burn the police. They were... It was like a war and we were in control. We could have seriously hurt the police. You know? Burning people's whole businesses and neighbourhoods down. But the BBC protected them. And to be fair, the BBC has maybe a different policy to ITV who shopped Emma West to the police because she said something racist, apparently. You know? Whether she said something racist or not, you should not be locking up and persecuting people for their political beliefs. Yeah? Um, that is a, that, that's the route that the, that the Soviet Union took, which Nazism took. It, it's just not right. Which leads me on to the third part of this video. Uh, in Russia, Russia is a very totalitarian state still. But the process after the fall of the Soviet Union was that a lot of crime families took over the resources of Russia. They asset stripped the country. 20 million people died. The Russians lost more people after the fall of the Soviet Union to disease and poverty and the hyperinflation than they did to German military action in the Second World War. You know? This is, this is something that has to be taken into consideration in the mentality of people like Putin who've had to who are criminals themselves they are mafioso guys but they have had to climb their way up through all this the, the this other scum who've been trying to keep hold of the country and they are they were criticized by Fox News and the American broadcasters for locking up people for protesting and the Ameri the, the Russians did are heavy handed, they have some of the most brutal police in the world. But from what I saw in the videos, which were from Euro News, which is not a pro Russian thing, it's a pro European news channel, um, they were being arm locked and they were being carried away. It's not dissimilar to what you would expect from the British police if there had been a riot in our country, but of course they didn't do that. Um, but take that take a look at the Occupy um, protesters. People non-violent sitting down, whether you agree with them or not, do they have the right? The police have the right to walk up to them, especially on a university cam, cam, campus, and spray them in the face with pepper spray. You know. Now I take this with a pinch of salt because it's coming from Russia today, but they said that over five thousand people in uh, in the Occupy movement had been pepper sprayed abused and by the police and locked up arrested it's it's kind of in some ways kind of good to see that Fox News and Russia Today are absolutely on par they are exactly the sort of same government mouthpieces for their varying different um, for the different nations involved Russia and America but <clears throat> what gets squeezed out is the right of people to really protest freely and to express themselves. Now, Emma West's arrest is not going to start in a Western Spring, like the man who set himself on fire who started the Arab Spring, but maybe it should. <laughs>